Hey everyone, welcome to MMA Spotlight. I'm your host, Jeff Gertz, and with me today, you better be ready, people, Tommy Trauma Sour. Forget the sour, that's Tommy Trauma, baby. How you doing, man? Good, Jeff, how you doing today, buddy? I'm, I'm great. For, for you people who don't know, been living around Ocala, if you don't know this man, okay, maybe you've been living under a rock or something. Tommy, name me five five guys you've fought over your a career. A couple guys I've fought, uh, Jeff Munson, UFC top contender <laughs> for many years, uh, Valentine Overeem. <laughs> being, Alistair's little yeah, brother, yeah, who's yeah, pretty Alistair's, big. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, another guy, Ensign Anyway, who choked out Randy Couture in an arm bar in 22 seconds. So. Few guys, I've been around the block. A I was going to yeah. say it's safe to say you've been around the yes, block sir. once yes, or sir. twice. Yes, this sir. guy knows MMA from the beginning, guys. When there was almost no rules. Now you're calling me old. Hey, good hey, hey. I'm older than <laughs> you, so it's okay. I'm chasing you. So, so today on MMA Spotlight, we're going to feature Tommy's promotion, the WCW World Cage Warriors. Tommy, when did you start promoting uh, MMA fights we around here? We started. Uh, we started doing MMA fights back before it was regulated. But the World Cage Warriors was was my brainchild about three years ago, right when it got passed. I was I was chopping at the ready. bit. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. because amateur fighting in Florida hasn't really been around that long. No, it, it, they passed the law three years ago, four years ago to make it legitimate, and it took a whole year right. for it to get in effect. Yep. And you've gone from from. From that to this, I mean, look, he's, he's, yeah. he's labeled it, he's branded it. If you've never been to one of these shows, folks, yeah. it is one of the premier shows, I would say, in all of the state of Florida, probably south of the southeast. We, we, we do good. We've had a lot of pro promoters. You know, Joe Valdez from the RFC say that you know we rival small pro shows. So, and, and all we're trying to do is get our fighters, my fighters, your fighters, and other local fighters a spotlight, a chance to shine, and get to that pro level. Yeah, I mean, how good is it for a local guy here in this area who wants to fight, who can go in his hometown and bring all his friends and all his buddies and have them watch. I mean, when you started, I'm no. sure you traveled the world. We, we had to travel the world even for kickboxing. Your big background in judo, you had to travel all around the state right. or the southeast to get a tournament. Just, to, just to, now, right. you know, MMA in Ocala has always, Ocala's always been a hot spot with Hammer Tree, John Brookins, Jeremy May, TJ Cook, to name a few. Yeah. So yeah. we've had a lot of talent come out of Ocala. You've got a lot of good guys. I've got a lot of good guys. So I figured. Heck, let's just make a platform where right, they can launch right, from. Right, it's beautiful, and it's a beautiful thing. It's, it gives them a chance to fight. It gives them a chance to learn the game, learn the, learn the different, yeah. uh, you know, without having to go pro. Back yeah. in the old days, you had to turn pro. You, there was no amateur. <laughs> yeah. So you go, you, you could walk in against a man like Tommy yeah, yeah. Trauma in your first pro fight. You don't want to do that. You paid $100, and yeah. now I'm a pro. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so it was well, crazy. listen, without further ado, let's get into it. We got some matches tonight from, from the WCW that we're going to be featuring. Tommy and I will make the call. You're going to love it. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back with MMA Spotlight. Quick Wash and Magnolia Laundromats offer great services at the lowest price, guaranteed. Wash, dry, and fold, only 75 cents per pound. Dry cleaning, 10 items for $19.95. On-site ironing and restaurant linen laundering. Ocala's largest family-owned laundromats are open seven days a week. And with over 60 large quality machines, there's no waiting. Visit either of our two convenient locations, Magnolia Village on North Magnolia and Hidden View Plaza, State Road 200. Welcome to El Toreo. For over 20 years, serving Ocala's best Mexican food, hot off the grill and sizzling hot. Monday through Friday, stop in and enjoy great lunch specials starting at only $3.95 and awesome dinner specials from only $6.95. El Toreo drink specials, Monday $1.95 margaritas, Wednesday 99 cent margaritas and $1.95 bottled beer, Saturday two for one margaritas. El Toreo with two locations in Ocala is the place for delicious food, great drinks and a festive atmosphere. Okay, Tommy, here we go. We're ready for our first fight. Who do we have in the cage coming up? We've got Dustin Atha from Ocala, Florida fighting out of USA Martial Arts and we have Peter Ascolisi from uh, Hammer's House of Fitness. And I believe, if I'm not correct, this is their both their debut fights? Yeah, this is their debut fight at 170 for both guys. They're and, both 0-0. And, and there we have Andy Glenn, the ISKA ref, uh, getting things started here. Andy, uh, of course, has ref many fights around the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and uh, you can see both of the guys. It's their first fight. You can see the nerves. <laughs> both of them staring each other down. Look, Pete. Oh, yeah. And you've got Dustin. Here we go. Here Let's we get go. it on. Here we go. Round one. Oh, nice little kick. Kick, kick for kick. Oh, yeah, they're going to trade. They're going to get their distance here. Oh, both guys throwing hard. Wrapped up. Looking for a takedown. 
Pete showing some strength whoa, right here. Whoa, nice hip toss oh, by Pete. Almost, almost, re almost reversed him, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, almost re-rolled there by Dustin. Pete in the side side position here. Maybe you call it a side mount. This is a dominant position here, Jeff. Yeah, and of course, this is still under the rules of no ground and pound on the ground. They're amateur fighters, so they can't hit yeah. to the face yet. But hopefully that rule will be changed. It looks like he's trying for a key lock there. That's what it looks like, a hammerlock key lock here, Americana, whatever you want to call it. He's working that. He's got a couple of other things open here, arm bar, yeah. trying to set up for that. Maybe a Kimura. Pete looking, a lot of different, looking at a lot of different things right there. All right, now he's just looking to get uh, Dustin back on his back, I think. Yeah. Nice sprawl. Very strong. Very strong individual for this weight class. Yeah, Pete is from my hometown of Staten Island, New York. And uh, when I told him he had to fight, he said, only one guy? He was happy. <laughs> He's used to fighting four or five on the street. So At this point, Pete's dominating in that side position. Dustin unable to uh, change a position or, or, or achieve guard, which yeah. would neutralize Pete's offense. But Pete's just raining down shots, looking for submission after submission at this point. He's pretty much controlling him right there. And it's hard when you've got a big guy, strong guy on top of you. It's pretty hard to get him off you. I would say Pete's a wrestler from this. You know, from looking at this. I know Dustin wrestled uh, you know, in here in Ocala. Pete definitely looks like a wrestler. Oh, oh full mount position now by uh, Pete Escalisi. Dustin trying to bridge out of it, but it's tough to get them off you. Dustin doing something real smart here. He's not double grapevining at this point. That that allows you to float. Now he's grapevining once he flattens him out. Uh, yeah, tying up those legs really uh, eliminates your bridging ability. Absolutely, and you can't you can't transition to an armbar. You can see him setting it up right now. He'll pop off if he gets that armbar and or that that key lock, like you said earlier. Yep. And again, Pete is wishing he could punch you the face right then, I'm <laughs> sure. Oh, he yep, went back yep. to side control. The state of Florida says we got to do five fights at the amateur level before we can turn pro. Believe me, these guys want to punch each other now. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. Look, and look at the use of the legs there, you know, crossing his arm up uh, with the legs. He has a crucifix from the top. Oh, he's trying for a straight arm bar. Nice straight arm bar here. Oh, that's nasty. Into a key lock. Dustin turns out of it, though. But look at the control. Yeah, he's that's an old judo move that. there. He's nice, trying to. Nice. Without it, a gi, if you yeah. will. Yeah. Woo. Still working that key lock. That's nice control by uh, Pete. And Dustin is wanting to get up pretty bad, I can yeah, tell. He's, he's having no fun at this north-south position. Pete's all over him like wide on rice with submission after submission. And he's striking, too. So he's throwing a good combination of, uh, of, of skill sets together I'm here. telling you, yeah, for his first fight, he's, he's taking it to him, isn't he? Dustin with a little offense on the bottom. Some nice sure. elbows. But Pete, oh, there's 10 the seconds. Here, here, there, there's the uh, hammer. Pete trying to rain down shots, leaving indelible oppression in the Look judge's out. mind. There he goes. Come on, one more kick. Oh, there there's go. the bell. That's the end of round one. Okay, Tommy, and we're back, and here we go with the start of round two. Peter Ascalisi versus Dustin Atha. And uh, so far, I think I would have to give Pete that first round. He controlled him pretty much. It, it, it was clear cut. You know, it, it wasn't it wasn't a 10-8 round, but it was definitely a 9-8 round, uh, Pete Ascalisi. Oh, nice Dustin flurry. Some shit. Here we go there talking we go. some trash, and Dustin coming back with the flurry for us. Dustin saying Pete it ain't just over yet. <laughs> yeah, nice takedown uh -oh. by Pete Escalisi. Going for the guillotine. Dustin, oh, he's out. You know, you really got to secure that guillotine. A lot of guys just grab the neck and, and try to go down, but you've got to – it's technical. You've got to know how to grab it and hold on and finish mm -hmm. it. And by the way, these guys are new. They, 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 they kind of want to go down to that guillotine at first. I tell yeah. my guys sprawl and brawl. Typically, you the you know – because you're going to get out of 90% of the guillotines at the amateur level, especially second round because you're hot and sweaty, so it's hard to hold. And he, I thought he was almost going to wall walk or cage walk there, but Pete turned his head back into the cage, which is a, a smart tactic to use Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Dustin's in the full guard, or Pete's in guard, whatever. Dustin trying to pop outside maybe for a go -go Uma, but no avail there. Pete trying to break up. Big body shots by Pete Escalisi. And how tiring is this for the guy on the bottom? Everybody thinks, oh, the guy on the bottom is relaxed and laying down. Well, he has a closed guard. I would say closed guard is pretty tiring. You're, you're wearing your, you know, your, your, uh, your core. Uh, he should, Dustin needs to open up so something can happen here. Yep. But uh, once again, at this level, first fight, these guys are both doing great. Pete showing the a uh, little more savvy fighter. He's, looks like he's been training a little longer, I would say. Yeah, again, I think those uh, Staten Island street fights might have helped him out <laughs> a little too. <laughs> he, he had some great wrestling earlier in the first round, and now he just looks like he's catching his breath. Dustin yeah. looking to set up a triangle, possibly set up oh, referee Andy Glenn, not liking no. the inactivity. Yep, standing him up. They're both, uh, both sucking a little wind there. Here we go. And the hands are way down at Dustin oh, Atha. Nice low kick. He's <laughs> yeah, got his hands we'll up. We'll take that. Dustin Atha protecting his groin at this point. He needs to keep his hands yeah. up or Pete's going to catch him. I think those hands are a little low. Dangerously low. Oh, nice swing. 
Pete's, Pete's moving good. He's ducking. Yeah, Pete throwing combos. Caught him with the caught him with the right hand. Their inside kick. We need to watch that. That could end Ooh. up costing Dustin the future. He's, he's, he's dropping them hands big time. And he's ducking that left hook of Dustin's. Dustin's trying to hit him with that left hook. Yeah, oh, like Dustin's pretty tired at this point. I, I I can imagine it could be the longest three minutes of your life. Tom. And I'll tell you, those inside leg kicks don't look like much, but they're scoring. And Dustin Ooh. does not like Ooh, him at that all. That was close. Yeah, he better keep his hands up at this point. Pete's looking for his range. Dustin's fighting back. I think he's got that range now. Dustin yeah. just fighting. He's tired. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hands on his hips. That That's not a good sign, Tom. Absolutely not. Boom. Is that Big inside again? leg kick by Pete. Off he's, that back leg. Dustin not liking that. Oh yeah, Looking wait a minute. Oh. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I don't think there's any timeouts in MMA. No, there, is, there is not. He put his hands on, oh. his, on, his, on his legs to catch his breath, and Pete scored on that right there. And, then, you know, well, honestly, Jeff, it's exactly what I would do. There is well, no timeouts. Right. I mean, if what you see What was the time it, of that? What was the time of that? We had to get that official time. Yeah, we'll time. get that in a minute. But, you, you know, you got you to gotta think. I can't just stop. I guess it was he was just so tired he had to stop. But I tell my fighters, I said, there are no breaks. Don't give the guy any cordiality. You know, it's not a cordial fight. You're in, yeah. it, you're in it to win it, and uh, that's what Pete did. Yep, and here we go. Let's go up to the ring for the official decision. Referee Andy Glenn saying 259 in the round number two by KO. 259, so there was a second left, and Pete knocked him out. <laughs> of the One second wow. left. Well, now that's Three something. minutes, ladies and gentlemen, is the mark for a round in amateur MMA ISK sanctioned in Florida, and he got two minutes and 59 seconds. He scored the big KO over Dustin Offa. Welcome to El Torreo for over 20 years serving Ocala's best Mexican food hot off the grill and sizzling hot. Monday through Friday, stop in and enjoy great lunch specials starting at only $3.95 and awesome dinner specials from only $6.95. El Torreo drink specials, Monday $1.95 margaritas, Wednesday 99 cent margaritas and $1.95 bottled beer, Saturday two for one margaritas. El Torreo with two locations in Ocala is the place for delicious food, great drinks and a festive atmosphere. Okay, Tommy, we're back, and here's our next fight in the WCW. Who do we got coming up? We've got our main man, Dex Christmas, out of Ocala, Florida, sporting a 10-0 and record. Wow. Against Billy Barrington from the Jungle MMA in Orlando, Florida, sporting a 6-2 and two record. Oh, this looks like it could be a good fight. I've seen Dex before. I know he's pretty... What do they call him, the evil elf? Yeah. The, I mean, that the, guy... Yeah, the he, yard gnome. I'll tell you, Dex had to... Uh, Drink about two two gallons of water to weigh in for this fight. He was 10 pounds lighter than Billy, but let's see if it makes a difference. Billy claims to be a striker, so wow. we'll see what he does. And we know Dex is a wrestler. <laughs> Straight up wrestler, Jeff. Definitely a wrestler. Well, that's, this is the classic matchup, striker versus wrestler. Let's see what we got here. Billy knocked out his last two opponents uh, in amateur MMA in Florida, so he, he's hoping to score on Dex. Uh, he knows good and well that Dex can take him down at a, at a moment's notice. Yep. Well, he's keeping his distance. He's the taller fighter. Uh-oh. There's that really? guillotine again. Yeah, Everybody yeah. wants to grab that guillotine. Look, looking for that easy submission, but not on a wrestler like Dex, I can tell well, you that. He cross faces and pops his head out. Ooh, nice body Big shots. body shots from Dex Christmas. My gosh. He's rolling for the arm bar. Or is that a triangle? I can't see what he's got there. He's trying to set that arm bar up right there. Yeah, he doesn't have the triangle. Oh, yeah, okay. Back to him on position. Now he's setting up that arm bar again. Dex has some nasty, nasty strength. You look at the guy, you don't think he's that strong, but he's got that grappler strength. Yeah, Jeff. those and those smaller guys are a lot stronger than you think. The power-to-weight ratio is, is incredible. Oh, yeah. Billy Barrington, ineffective at this point, trying to get some knees up on the inside, but Dex Christmas taking that full mount position now. Once again, you get a wrestler on top of you. It's hard to get him out of there. He's going for the arm bar, it looks like, again. Oh, you can see him setting up. And that, you know, even with 10 fights under his belt, you can still see these guys setting things up a little oh, yeah. slower oh, than the nice. pros. But big shots by Softening Dex. Softening him up. That's smart, too. Soften him up a little and then maybe get an arm. Billy needs to get up off his back. Yeah, definitely don't give Dex your back in this position. Still in the full mount position. Oh. Dex working those legs Ooh. big time. Sciatic nerve damage here. <laughs> wow. 
Maybe a Darcy's going for there. Looks looking like yeah. it. Looking tight. Wow. He is all over Billy. Billy needs to get up. He needs to shrimp out, get his legs in there, and, and try to make some space and get up. Absolutely. He needs to get that. He's, he's trying to work that knee on the inside. There we go. Creating some space. Easier said than done, though, of course, with a guy like Dex on top of him. He's like a vice grip. Dex just all over Billy at this point in the fight. Oh, what's he got a little Porter Nelson turn he's going to use there? Three Porter Nelson, yeah, turning him, taking <laughs> oh. his back. Nice, nice position change. This is a clinic here. Oh, oh, nice, Billy. Uh, as soon as we say something, Billy turns and yep. throws some big he, shots. You can see Billy likes to strike. He needs to get up. If he, wants to, he wants to have the fight on his feet. He needs to get up. But Dex, of course, wants him on the ground. So we'll see who, who wins that battle. Billy in a half guard at this point. Uh, oh, nice pass, almost. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wow. 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 Not good for the bottom man here. Uh -oh. Dex taking uh -oh. his back. Uh-oh. Wow, he's that's got it sunk in. He's got it. Rear naked. Oh. Yep, yep. That right One there. little mistake. <laughs> you saw Billy try to pass that half guard, you know, and he just, Dex popped her out, came around the back there. Quick. Unbelievable. That's what's nice about, you know, MMA, Jeff. is three-dimensional. Boxing one, kickboxing two, and you got MMA that, that brings everything together. And that was at 2 minutes and 43 seconds of round one. There's your winner, my rear naked choke, Dex Christmas. And we'll be right back. Sauer & Sons Construction is Central Florida's premier outdoor living contractor. We offer a wide variety of professional services, including pool cages, screen rooms, classrooms, carports, room additions, vinyl siding, replacement doors and windows, and much, much more. Call today for a free estimate and let one of our courteous professionals assist you in your next home improvement project. Visit us on Facebook or go to our website for ideas and beautiful picture galleries of jobs we have performed for your friends and neighbors. Call Sauer & Sons Construction today. Day. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. Today we're going to show you a straight ankle lock. You see here Jordan's in Mark's guard. He's going to first break his guard and reach back for an ankle, sitting straight back. Now he's going to use his legs to create a little distance on Mark, slide right down to the ankle, keeping a good tight grip, and then dropping back and lifting through his arm will create enough pressure to create a tap. And that's how you finish a straight ankle lock. Okay, here we go with some more WCW action. Mr. Sauer, who do we have coming up to now? We've got Cyrus Cunningham fighting out of Team Trauma in Ocala, Florida versus Scott Brownlee from F2 Darkside out of Gainesville. Oh, and this looks to be a good match. He's got, look at Cyrus's, man. He's, he's a specimen. Cyrus is definitely a striker. Scott Brownlee is definitely a grappler. We'll see what happens on this one, Jeff. Another classic matchup, <laughs> striker versus grappler. There's Andy Glenn. Checking the judges, getting everyone ready. Co uh, Scott Brownlee is coached by Ryan Hodge, uh, you know, a Mike Lee prodigy, big-time jiu-jitsu up there in uh, Gainesville, Florida. Oh, yeah, that F2 dark side are some jiu-jitsu guys. Oh, nice, nice Ooh, punch. Big hands by Cyrus, immediately taken down by Scott Brownlee. Into, into mount. A, Ooh, into, into a mount him. position. Uh -oh. Not good. Cyrus, you know, he's got the advantage with the long arms standing up, but it could almost be a disadvantage when you're down because your arms are longer, easier to lever out and get that arm bar. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. What was he? He's trying to turn him with, with that north-south turn, oh, but almost not enough leverage. Scott, Scott just giving the clinic, going from Boy, the, you know yeah, from north south to a knee and chest, and now he's passing that guard with at, at will. He is moving pretty good on the bottom there. Cyrus needs to shrimp out, get some space in there, and try to get up. Cyrus, I would say, definitely wants his fight standing. Oh, yeah. Big time. Looks like he's trying to. Scott looking for a guillotine, possibly a darce, and a turn right here. Trying to take his back. Cyrus, absolute. Ooh, nice underhook there. Is he going to roll him with it? 
Or is he going to take his back? Oh, those big long arms, Cyrus. Cyrus, blo Cyrus blocking pretty good. Yeah, good there he is. He's up. Nice knee. knee inside. Nice knee. This is where Cyrus wants to be. He needs to make some space. Absolutely. Push he off. There you separation. go. Big Punch uppercut. Him. Big Punch uppercut. Him. Scott not liking that. That's hurting him. But Come he's on, not Cyrus. giving him any space. It is exactly what you said. If he doesn't have any space, Cyrus cannot get away uh -oh. from him. He's almost got his back there. Now, if Cyrus were a judo man, he could do a nice th hip throw from and, there. But And you saw him looking to throw an elbow up, too. In, in amateur MMA, elbows are not legal. So, once again, Cyrus looking to throw that now elbow. Now, he needs to move away. Move away. There you go. There Make him go. stand up. Smart. That's smart fighting. That's how these amateurs learn. You know, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. Oh. oh, Scott shooting. Almost getting kicked in the head, but able to get that double leg takedown immediately. Once again, this is in Scott Brownlee's world. Scott Brownlee in the black shorts. Cyrus in the red. Boy, he's passing. He's moving Oh, so here we good. go. This Ooh. is nasty. Ooh. Is he looking for the rear knee? No, switching to the arm bar. This is a clinic. Cyrus fighting it. He's Absolutely. rolling, rolling, rolling him. He needs to stack into him. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh. That's tight right there. Wow. Boy, I mean, I mean, Cyrus did his best to fight it, but when you got a guy on you that tight and that that quick, it's hard to. Yeah, you you, you tap and live to fight another day, Jeff. Exactly, exactly. What a great what what a great clinic there from Scott Brownlee out of uh, F2 Dark Side. Let's go up to the cage for the announcement. The official announcement: Referee Andy Glenn says Scott Brownlee in the blue corner, winner by armbar at 215, round number one. Okay, we're ready for our next fight from the WCW. Tommy, who do we got coming to the cage? We've got Kyle Terrell from Bellevue, Florida, fighting out of Team Trauma, and Andrew Tamayo in the blue corner, fighting out of F2 Darkside, Gainesville, Florida. All right, this looks like to be a pretty good matchup. Kyle is a little bit taller than Andrew, but uh, Andrew, I know, is, uh, is a pretty skilled martial artist. He's pretty disciplined. Kyle is known more as a, as a striker. And a stand-up guy. Oh, yeah. Andrew Tamayo is a second-degree black belt in taekwondo, so look for some nasty Ooh. kicks. Yeah, and uh, Todd is a self-proclaimed boxer turned to MMA. Okay, well, hands versus feet, I guess, would be the... <laughs> we'll uh, see classic striker matchup here. And here we go with round one. And Kyle's, Kyle's throwing that long jab out. Nice low kick. Trying to get the both fighters trying to get the distance right now. Andrew looking to set up a kick. I can just tell you right now, I can I can smell it. <laughs> Kyle needs to be. Oh, oh my god! My gosh. Wow. Yeah, that was it right there. There was that kick we were taking. <laughs> that was a front roundhouse kick. Kyle that was, looking to replace guard. I blinked. Yes. And I didn't see it there. Wow. Now that might have just been a flash. Was that a lead leg kick? Or I think it was. was yeah. Okay. It didn't even come from the back. It was just there. Yeah, that and was gone. a front snap kick. Almost with a little bit Andy, of a curve on Andy it, so. making sure that uh, yeah. Kyle is okay and can continue. Kyle's. Wow, he better keep his hands up. Kyle Terrell in the red corner. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Tamayo in the blue. Hands up, Kyle. Hands up. He's moving. That's good. He's trying to get his 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 mojo back there. Andrew stalking him again. Oh, oh. Tied up into the cage. Kyle throwing knees. Both fighters tied up. Oh, oh nice hip toss by Andrew. I Tamayo. believe that was a Hiragoshi uh, wow. out of the old judo book, Tommy. That, that that's nasty. That, that was nasty. beautiful. Right into wow. side control. Beautiful side control here by Andrew Tamayo in the white trunks. Boy, Kyle's got to be wondering what can I do against this guy? He's kicking yeah. me. He's throwing me. <laughs> he hasn't even recovered from the kick to the head. Now he's getting hip tossed. Yes. Beautiful. He needs to use that cage maybe to get up. Andrew, he's, he's Andrew trying to get some position here. Looked like he's setting up an armbar. Yeah. Knee and chest right here. Knee on belly, but I think the cage is helping Kyle out, actually. Oh, he slips off knee oh. and belly with a knee to the ribs. Yeah. Nice shots there. Kyle went back to guard. Okay. Kyle's got to get his get his act together here. And I can see uh, Andrew's coach is telling him to stand up. He wants to, they want to see another kick. You're absolutely right. And he comes from F2 Dark Side. And They're big time jujitsu guys, but I think he's And there he did. He listened to, his, right listened to his corner. Kyle looking no worse for wear. He's got his he got his everything back together. Again, he does hands up. Some oh, nice hands. right, nice right. Ooh, Kyle throwing some uppercuts right there to Andrew Tamayo's. Oh, oh, inside trip again. Nice little back trip, right down the side control. Boy, Andrew's uh, 
He's got some wrestling skills, Jeff. He's got something. Yeah, he, he's, he's. Where do you fight a guy like that? He's mixing everything do up. Do you too. fight him on the ground? Do you find him standing up? What, what do you do? He's doing good. He's got. Uh, he, he trained with uh, a couple state champ wrestlers, and he's also, like I said, with F2 Dark Side. So he's putting some wrestling, striking, and jujitsu together, and we can see it all displayed right here. He's been able to pass that that mount position, take side mount, and uh, throw some nice uh, submissions in there. Kyle, some submission attempts. Ten seconds left. Let's see what they do for the judges here in the last ten seconds of the round. I would have to give this round to Andrew so far unless Kyle pulls out a miracle here. Definitely a 10-A round with being dropped. Oh, and there's the, there's the horn. And hopefully Kyle can get his senses back about him and give him a good round two. Okay, we're ready for round two. Kyle Terrell versus Andrew Tamayo. Kyle in the red. Oh, nice little uh, Both low. Both guys are exchanging. Andrew in the white shorts, Kyle in the black shorts. Try oh, oh, my another God. Nasty head kick. Oh, double. Oh, my gosh. He Jeff. put the that exclamation it. on it. The first one rocked him, and wow. the second one took him to La La Land. Just as Kyle wipes the blood off his nose, Andrew throws another lead leg kick to Kyle's head. And those are lead legs. I mean, yeah. Any kick is going to hurt, but a lead leg kick is supposed to be like a jab. That's it right there, Jeff. Yeah, Fight's over. Andy Glenn waving it off. Kyle cannot answer the eight count. Wisely so, because uh, you don't want to take too many lead kicks to the head. <laughs> no, that's big-time damage by Andrew Tamayo from F2 Dark Side. Let's go up to the ring for the word. And winner in round number two at 32 seconds by kick to the head, KO, Jeff, mm. Andrew Tamayo. What a great display. You guys want to learn how to kick, watch this fight over and slow motion it because that was a great kicking display put on by Andrew Tamayo. Big time kick clinic. Quick Wash and Magnolia Laundromats offer great services at the lowest price, guaranteed. Wash, dry, and fold, only 75 cents per pound. Dry cleaning, 10 items for $19.95. On-site ironing and restaurant linen laundry. Ocala's largest family-owned laundromats are open seven days a week. And with over 60 large quality machines, there's no waiting. Visit either of our two convenient locations, Magnolia Village on North Magnolia and Hidden View Plaza, State Road 200. Tommy, 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 what a bunch of fights that was. And that's just a small sampling of your cards from, from the last year or so. It just goes to show you the level of talent we have locally. And, you know, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you've offered us the opportunity on MMA Spotlight to showcase these sure. fights as a platform that we can manage these guys, hopefully, into, into their professional future. Oh, it, it's my pleasure, believe me. I know the fans out there love to watch and see this because when you're at the live event and you really want to go to the live event, but sometimes you want to say, hey, man, oh, wow, look at that. Look, yeah. you know, when you get it from these cameras that are over the tops of the cage and you get to see all those angles that you big don't really see live, yeah. you can relive it again. It's like, yeah. man, look what he it's did like to that It's like going to a Gators game than being at the game versus <laughs> having a big screen TV. Right. It's, it's the best it's of some, both worlds. Sometimes, yeah. First, go to the yeah. go to the matches and watch yeah. them live. Maybe you'll see yourself on camera. And then come home and watch MMA Spotlight, Absolutely. and we'll show you the best of the best. Well, listen, this has been great, a great show. I'd like to thank, thank Tommy thank once so again, man. You're me. a great man, great job. When is your next uh, promotion? Our next card, we're looking at January 5th. Uh, so we're going to be right after the holidays. We're going to make them fighters cut weight during the holidays. So oh, that's you guys tough. catch us out at World Cage Warriors at OEC, January 5th. 2013. It's going to be a great year. Thanks, Tommy. God bless you. Thanks, sir.